Will China or USA win the scramble for Zimbabwe's lithium? Lithium is commonly called white gold because of its market value and silver color. Lithium is a soft white silver, like alkaline metal chemical element. White gold was found in 1817 by Swedish chemist Johan August Arfwedsen in the mineral petalite. Lithium is also found in brine deposits and as salts in mineral springs, its concentration in seawater. Throughout the years, mankind's development has solely depended on petroleum and its products, which are commonly called black diamond. In recent years, due to the global warming, which has caused man to diversify his source of energy, electric vehicles have come to place. The advent of this has led to the mad rush for lithium. But why lithium? Lithium is one of the lightest metal and the least dense solid element. In the latter part of the 20th century, lithium became important as the anode material of lithium batteries. The high electrochemical potential of this element makes it a reliable component of high-energy rechargeable batteries. With this potential, lithium is highly needed in the production of electric vehicles. Global economic superpowers are in a rush to secure sources of lithium for themselves. This mad rush for lithium has led to the scramble for this precious metal. Hello there, welcome. As we ride on, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. Africa, as usual, is the main source of the world's raw material, including lithium, which is in high demand nowadays. Over the years, Africa's lithium production is set to increase rapidly. From 40,000 tons this year, the continent will likely produce about 490,000 tons by 2030, with a bulk of it coming from Zimbabwe, as estimated by commodities trader Trafigura. With the bulk of this coming from Zimbabwe, every superpower wants to be control of Zimbabwe's lithium industry. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, please do so as to become part of the Africa Reloaded community. With the involvement of top economic powers in Zimbabwe's lithium, one might call it a scramble and China seems to be winning the scramble. In early 2022, the Chinese company Zhejiang Huiyu acquired controlling rights to Zimbabwe's Arcadia mine from Prospect Resources, an Australian-majority-owned emerging energy minerals company. The $422 million lithium deal has gotten a lot of media attention and mixed reactions from the public. Public opinion has been divided over the sale of a lithium mine in Zimbabwe to a Chinese corporation. Many people are worried that there won't be many benefits for the country or the region. According to Archie Mathabella, the transaction emphasizes the necessity for more regulation of foreign investors in the nation in order to uphold contractual responsibilities and safeguard local interests. The ensuing polarization lifts the veil on broader socioeconomic and political forces at work in Zimbabwe's natural resource deals, which many regard as a microcosm of the rest of Africa. Whereas some are optimistic about Zhejiang Huayu's acquisition as a sign of progress for Zimbabwe's economy and a driver of jobs and tax revenue, others are more cautious. Septics lament the government's lack of foresight in securing a stake in the mine, given lithium's strategic importance in the auto industry's burgeoning clean energy market. However, there are five other lithium operations in the country, all of which were licensed before Arcadia. So, what makes Zimbabwe's latest lithium project so unique? The world is changing. Electric vehicles are approaching a tipping point in global market penetration, and as a result, investment in battery technology and production is rapidly increasing. China intends to produce 20% of all electric vehicles, EVs, by 2025. France has set a deadline of 2040 for all vehicle sales to be electric or hybrid electric. The United Kingdom has set a target of zero greenhouse gas emissions from domestic output by 2050. Lithium is critical to achieving these objectives. Industry investment in battery production and its value chain is increasing globally. Lithium, whose demand has surpassed that of non-lithium batteries, is one of the raw materials used to make batteries, which in turn is raising demand for those resources. President Mangagwa will be attempting to bolster support from a tepid and uncooperative populace as elections are slated for 2023. Obtaining a political mandate requires not only controlling perceptions, 
but also producing real-world outcomes that have a positive impact on people's lives. Start by improving communities on a significant level. In order to leverage their holdings as significant equity partners when they work with foreign investors, locals require strong land to tenure rights. Otherwise, they will be forced to take menial occupations. There is now very little room for movement. Nationalization of resources is also not a magic fix, as seen by the numerous potential industrial projects that are currently in limbo. Other options should be explored as well, like promoting devolution for local communities and developing localized economies free from patronage systems. China is the world's largest user of lithium, yet it produces little to no lithium. As a result, China must try to import lithium from Africa, and Zimbabwe appears to be the ideal source. China produces over two-thirds of the world's lithium batteries. USA is a major consumer of lithium as well. In order to prevent its lithium stocks from running out, the USA must work to find a source of lithium in order to keep producing electric vehicles. All of these have prompted these countries to quickly enter into collaborations with the leading producer of lithium in Africa on an economic and other basis. So with interest shown by China, America, and particularly the Tesla CEO, who do you think will win the scramble for the white gold of Zimbabwe? Tell us in the comment section. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to Africa Reloaded. Please click the notification icon to get notifications of newly released videos.